Hi everyone! In this oak video, I'll be showing you how to make a miniature pie out of clay. The clay we'll be using is called polymer clay, and it's a polymer plastic-based oven hardening clay. It's really different than the clay we've used at school, which needs to be placed into a kiln to harden. This one can be baked inside a conventional oven. So without any further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. The things you will be needing today are polymer clay in ecru and blue, translucent liquid sculpey, clear brush-on glaze, a toothbrush for texturing, a rolling pin, I'm using this paintbrush as one, a small paintbrush, a blade or exacto knife for cutting the clay, a bottle cap, a circle cutter that's slightly larger than the bottle cap, and chalk pastels. You'll also need a toothpick, parchment paper, and some aluminum foil. Before we start, we need to condition the clay to make it easier to work with. This can be done by playing around with the clay, cutting it into smaller pieces, and kneading it in your hands. The heat and moisture from your hands will soften the clay. If your clay is very hard and crumbly, adding a drop or two of baby oil will also help soften it right up. Our first step will be to roll out some ecru clay for the pie shell. Cut out a circle of clay with your cookie cutter and gently press it into the bottle cap, trimming the edges off with your fingers. Next we'll be making the filling of the pie. Roll out some blue clay into a thin snake, and using the X-Acto knife, cut small, evenly sized pieces from the snake, and roll them into balls. These will be your blueberries. This is called Translucent Liquid Sculpey. It's a liquid form of the Sculpey brand polymer clay and can be baked and hardened in the oven. It's usually used to create liquid looking elements in your creations such as sauces or soups. We will be using it to make the filling of our pie look like a juicy pie filling. Squeeze out a generous amount and we will be coloring it using chalk pastels in these three shades to achieve a deep blue color. Mix this thoroughly and add in your blueberries, then transfer them into the bottle cap. We'll be making a lattice top pattern for our pie's crust, so to start out, roll some eco clay flat and cut out long thin strips.
Once you have the strips cut out, take every other strip out and put them to the side. Then gently pull back every other strip, placing an extra strip over the ones that aren't folded back. Continue with this process until you have a basket type weave. Next, we're going to texture the clay to make it look more like a flaky pie dough. I'll be doing this using a clean toothbrush and a ball of tin foil. To add some color to the clay, we'll be using some brown and orange chalk pastels. Shave some onto your work surface and brush them onto the clay to give it a golden brown effect. Gently peel the crust off of the table and press it onto the pie, cutting off the edges and applying pressure to trim it down. And now it's ready to go into the oven. Preheat your oven to 230 degrees Fahrenheit or follow the temperature written on the package of your clay as different brands vary. Bake the clay for 15 minutes, keeping an eye on it so it does not burn. Once the clay is out of the oven and has cooled down, it's time to glaze. I'm using the brand Triple Thick, which I use for all of my clay creations. Using a small brush, glaze only the inside of the pie to make the filling look shiny and now it's done! Polymer clay is a very versatile medium that can be used for anything from miniature desserts to full-sized figurines. All you need to do is let your imagination take the reins and lead you to your ne next masterpiece. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you can try it out.